The Detroit Lions are headed to the NFC Championship for only the second time in franchise history. Detroit knocking off the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 31 to 23. Now the Lions are preparing to head to San Francisco to fight for a berth in the Super Bowl. But it's not just the Lions who are getting ready for this big weekend. News 10's Justin Kent shows us how local restaurants are preparing for the big game. For a fan base that has only seen their team this close to a Super Bowl one other time in franchise history, they will be starving for another win on Sunday. Food delivery places like Pizza House in East Lansing hope to satisfy all the other hunger Lions fans might have as they take in the big game. Especially with this game this weekend, 6.30, um, right at dinner time, you know, for us, we're going to staff it like we do Super Bowl, where we're going to expect that, you know, up until 15 minutes before kickoff, people are going to want to pick up orders and then delivery throughout the game at halftime. Jeremy Bates, the manager of Pizza House East Lansing location, says with the Lions success, they are staying busy each weekend in January. You know, it, it's part of what they're doing on a weekly basis now. It's where are we going for the game on Sunday or Saturday whenever they're playing their playoff game. Where indeed. Lots of people like Amanda Smith will be watching the game from the comfort of her living room instead of her usual seats at Ford Field. One of my nephews said, you know, that he hoped Green Bay would lose. And I was like, why would you say that? And he said, so we can come over and watch the game with you. And I was just um, really touched by that. Smith said throwing a big party is going to give her an excuse to use some of her Lions gear for the food. To bust out the Lions crock pot and plates and all the things that we have. Really looking forward to it. Now, if you're hoping to take in the game at a bar or restaurant, Bates said he would suggest calling ahead and making a reservation for Sunday evening. Really, people can't do the last minute drop in and catch the game somewhere. They got, they got a plan ahead. And that was Justin Kent reporting. Bates said they will have around 11 chefs in the kitchen to help keep those orders going. He said you can schedule a delivery time online when you place an order so that way your pizza can be ready before kickoff. Well, the last time the